Alright, so this Dan in here and I'm with B. Yerkson. Um, as you guys know, he's a new mid laner for TSM. And so uh, you guys had a lot of questions for him on uh, the Reddit AMA. And so this video is actually just uh, to cover a little bit of that and just go into a little bit of other questions that I thought were interesting as well. So, uh, to start off, how was, uh, how was your trip coming from all the way from Denmark? Uh, it was a pretty long trip, to be honest. I woke up, or actually I didn't wake up, I didn't go to sleep at all. I just went to the airport at like 4 a.m. Uh -huh. And then I just traveled for like 20 hours, like right here. Yeah. And then, I, then because of time zones, it was like early, mm -hmm. early night or afternoon here. So I stayed up even further, so I was up for like 30, 40 hours. So. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. The crazy thing is, is uh, when you got here, like you played League for like another five, six hours <laughs> without sleeping as well, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I was just pretty dead like, so I yeah. didn't feel so tired. But I was, I was probably really tired. You know, one of those feelings when you sit and play and you just like, you know you're tired, but yeah. you, you just don't feel tired, so you just keep going. You just keep on going. Yeah. You play really bad, but you're like, whatever, I'm just going to play anyways. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling pretty well. Yeah. Um, so. My question is, you, you have like a, you kind of have an idea of how the players are in your head before coming here. Yeah. So like, what what were your thoughts on each player before you actually met them? Like, uh, what do you think of Darius? What do you think of Otto and like Special and Turtle and Reggie? And, um, uh, I'd say at least Turtle was like my biggest surprise at Worlds, uh, and because I didn't know how well TSM would do because I hadn't wa I watched some of their games last season, but not. Mm -hmm. Every game or not, I didn't. When, when I watched it, it was just mostly to relax, like late at night, because yeah. NLCS was always after ULCS. So, but then at Royals, I just saw Turtle like wrecking on mostly Corky, and I was just really surprised how good he was. And yeah, I could easily see that he could become one of the best ADs in the world. Um, I don't know. I feel like Otto also surprised me, in, especially the game against Lemon Dogs, where uh -huh. he was playing by, and he just. Snowball ready super hard. Yeah, he just shut uh, down the mid lane. Yeah, he shut down Nuke Duck so hard that game. So, I don't know, it's just like so many surprises because I hadn't really looked too much into them and I was still like thinking, how is NA, you know? Are yeah. NA good or NA bad? Or are this team? Because I just know Cloud Nine's up here uh, and then I didn't really know about the rest of the teams. Yeah. I just knew TSM and Balkan were good too. But I, I say all the players really surprised me. Mm -hmm. um, in a good way. Um, it's just like coming the whole season. Like for example, like special at uh, All Stars really surprised me too. Mm -hmm. uh, the play he made with double lift when they yeah. were dived against China, I think was really good. Mm -hmm. And it's just like I think they're all really good players. And I think that I knew even before I got here that I would get along with them because yeah, I'm a troll. And no, they're pretty, no, troll. They're pretty, they're pretty troll. troll. They're pretty troll. No, but I just felt like the atmosphere would be cool. Like mm -hmm. I wouldn't like clash with them in any way and yeah. it would just be all right okay uh since getting here what's changed what what, what do you guys think of uh, what do you think of each of the guys now i haven't really played with them too much to be honest i've been doing it with dyrus and turtle but you can't tell too much from solo queue yeah i can tell that dyrus is like the best turner in an a oh really also because turner is like broken as hell but dyrus is excellent turner man but i banned him every game so dyrus can play something else that makes but sense. I can't say too much because we haven't started practicing yet, but once we start practicing, I can do like a more detailed, like my thoughts on all the players. On an individual basis, what do you think about them and their personality? Um, they're all just like really chill, which is, which is what I hope. Also, when I came to the house, I was like kind of worried that it would be super clean and everything would be like super, <laughs> super organized. Cause like, of course I didn't think that of the people, because uh -huh. like I knew them to some degree, I thought yeah. like, it's gonna be weird seeing them like being mm -hmm. like these like house people like cooking and stuff. <laughs> and I was uh, like, yeah. and I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> Do you know anything about? But when them? I when I got here and I just looked, I was like, okay, this this looks like something I could live in. <laughs> <laughs> just like <laughs> this is a gaming house, dude. Uh, it's pretty yeah. messy. If you guys could see the rest uh, of the house, not my desk, you'd be like, the desk that's pretty clean. Yeah. So For sure. uh, no, but they're all like really chill and. Much like I expected, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Darius is like big sleepy head, really mm -hmm. chill. I don't know, I haven't... Alex has been away, but... Yeah, I talked to Alex a lot of worlds and I hung mm -hmm. out with him in Disneyland and stuff, so... They're all pretty much like I expected. Okay. Like, in a good way, of course. Yeah, so... Uh, going into Season 4, um, what are your expectations? Uh, like, 
Oh, TSM? Of TSM. How do you think um, you guys are going to stack up against the other NA team? I, I, I'm i pretty sure we can make a top two. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't tried playing against Cloud9, but they just seem so dominant that I'm not going to say we can go number one, mm -hmm. like for sure, because yeah. Cloud9 just looks so good, and yeah. I want to play against them before I can really say that we can beat them. Yeah. Uh, but I definitely think we can go top two, mm -hmm. um, because... I don't know, Reginald had so much to look out for, the team and the organization yeah. and everything. So I think just me like focusing only on the game, I think I can yeah. bring something new to the team. And I think we can do really well. And they also made number two. Yeah. yeah. Me, so. Number one and number two. But yeah, overall yeah. number two. Yeah. So, you know, everybody has a lot of high hopes for you from going to season four. You know, a lot of people say, oh, he's going to be the savior of TSM. He's going to make TSM. <laughs> A much better team now they're going to be able to compete uh -huh. on the world stage and so um, there's definitely a lot of uh, pressure put on you yeah how do you feel about that pressure um from now like for now the pressure has just been like exciting and something i just like could take in and just like do better with it you know like it hasn't been like pressure that i felt really like uh -huh. uh, would get, like really hard i think once the uh, once tournament games start, once yeah. LCS starts, I'm going to feel the pressure way more because there are going to be TS TSM fans shouting TSM and yeah. I'm going to really feel it and uh -huh. people yelling Burger King probably. Burger King. Yeah, but like, I think I'm going to feel the pressure way more once we start maybe even scrimming. I'm going to feel like, okay, now I'm playing with the team, I really have to fit well because mm -hmm. all the fans are expecting so much from me, but right now it's just like, it's just really exciting yeah. right now, I'd say. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. So, um, Couple more questions. So I think a lot of people ask. Um, usually, like a, a very common question, just for people at your age, mm -hmm. or a lot of the younger players, is uh, how does your parents feel about you getting into uh, gaming? What was their initial reaction? What are their reactions now? Uh, when I got into gaming, like, I've always been into gaming. Mm -hmm. I've been gaming ever since I could play. Uh, yeah. So they've been used to that they wanted me to not play as much mm -hmm. before i go pro but then once they found out that it could actually be a job they went to dreamhack two years ago mm -hmm. which was my first really big land event yeah uh, they actually saw how big it was and they could actually be a future and a job because before um a parent's kid can say i'm good at a video game yeah and i can say i'm good at a video game mm -hmm. but what's the difference what is where you can actually bring in a decent income and mm -hmm. live from it, you know? Yeah. Like, they can't really tell us parents. They can't look at the screen and say, oh, yeah, I can see this, this guy's pretty good, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was really until they really found out, they, they talked to my old organization to be like, what's going on, you know? Um, yeah. But when they found out that it could be actually, actually be a job, they've been really supportive overall. And they it's only been positive, really. They just support me in everything I do. They've done that all of my life, and I really appreciate it. And when I said I was good, I, I would like to move to TSM, they supported me too. Okay. They said they would miss me, but they would probably come visit me here in LA. Oh, nice. And it's been really supportive about it. I was kind of surprised because my dad just said, I'm going to miss you, man, but if you want to go, you can go. And yeah. I was really, this is a moment. It was it a is. moment, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a big move. Yeah. You're 17 years old. Um, some people would not even consider you an adult yet, and you're just mm. packing up and just moving to a different country and living, working, and playing, and so uh, it's uh, definitely a very big player. And so, um, funny story that you told me earlier, uh, I actually took Bjergsen to the bank earlier to help him get a bank account, and one of the bank attendants said, oh, what country are you from? And they, they're just confused because his English was so fluent, or he was so well-spoken. And I was like, oh, in Denmark, everybody speaks English, right? And he's like, no, no, no. Um, we speak Danish, man. We speak Danish. Yeah. Most people from Denmark don't speak English that well. No. And so I, I asked him, well, where did you learn it? I thought everybody in Denmark speaks English pretty well. Yeah. And so can you tell me that story again? Well, as I said, I've always been playing video games. But when I started playing online video games a lot, I think my biggest like online video game when I was younger was Diablo 2 mm -hmm. and when I played that I just I was probably like eight years old or nine years old or something I just slowly learned English mostly from the help of my brother who's yeah. three years older than me and he would tell me I'd be like I remember being like okay what does next mean and then he would tell me 
I just slowly learned English and then um, World of Warcraft came out and I started playing World of Warcraft and that's when my English really like skyrocketed. Yeah. I never really spoke English, that, that was mostly from school and then when I started reading and stuff for World of Warcraft but I learned typing or writing English really well, yeah. just mostly from playing Diablo and World of Warcraft. So, funny thing is, you said that when you first started school, for the first three years of school, yeah. your English was much, much more yeah. adept or better yeah. than what they're teaching, and so it was just really easy for you. Yeah, it just, I got into English at third grade, which is around the age of 10 in Denmark, I think, uh -huh. and, well, the first couple of years are red, yellow, you know, colors, yeah. and... I am, my name is, and I have already learned that from, um, like, getting to speak it was nice, but I always, I, I really knew the basics from, like, a really early age, so it was really easy for me. Yeah, so I, like, had the whole speech from my parents when I was younger, like, video games not gonna do you anything, <laughs> anything good, it's not gonna help you out in any way, and, uh, you know, it's just, this is just another one of the stories, like, hey, I'm a uh, professional gamer now. I learned how to speak English through video games, and so if really like, so you can learn from video games. You can learn. You've learned a lot. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's a pretty good interview. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your time. No problem. Man.